Well, here's another story you want to stay tuned for. Our Larry Himmel discovers firsthand that bowls, yes, we're talking about bowls, may actually have healing powers. We'll explain next. If you find that the holiday season gets you down and depressed, this might be something you'll want to hear. Tonight, Larry Himmel introduces us to a San Marcos woman who's a sound healer. Over the past five years, Olivia Medley has amassed an impressive collection of bowls. They're made out of uh, quartz crystal, silica, um, a pure growing medium for the semiconductor industry that uses them to grow microchips at exact frequencies. But Olivia isn't into microchips. For her, the bowl's appeal is in its sounds that heal. Each one has a different frequency. So uh, the bigger the bowl, the lower the octave. Uh, and the higher the bowl, the higher the tone. Olivia Melody is a sound healer who has toured nationally giving concerts to audiences who were moved by her vibrational muse. The first times I would play, they come up afterwards and tears would be rolling down their eyes um, and saying, what did you do? And I, thought, I, and I realized something bigger than me was happening. Oh, there's nothing like frequency. I say it's good for everything that supports you and everything that ails you. Olivia has also recorded three CDs. It's good for like all live beings. It's good for your plants. I have people who've bought it just for their rocks because their, their crystals are happy. Um, well, you want to have happy crystals over the you holidays. You know, you do. The bowls are pricey, ranging anywhere from $150 to almost $1,000. Now, holiday dinners, you don't use these for salads. No, although I know some people who do. And the sound healer doesn't take requests. If I said, uh, could you whip out Stairway to Heaven, could you do You know, I, I, I couldn't. I could take you on that Stairway to Heaven. These crystal sonic waves resonate from the soul of the sound healer. Attuned to the rhythm of life, her bowls runneth over. Larry Himmel, Local 8 News. Well, one can only hope it helped Larry. He's not of sound mind and body these that days. That is true. So maybe he's coming along better now.